So, we kick things off with Momo and Okarun standing in front of this creepy Silent Hill looking tunnel. I mean, credit to them, they really nailed that spooky vibe. And guess what, our brave duo's first reaction is? No, you go first. Yeah, real brave. After some squabbling, they finally decide to go in together, side by side, like two reluctant kids heading into a haunted house. As they are creeping through the tunnel, bam, Turbo Granny makes her grand entrance, lying down with her head to the ground, and she's blocking the whole tunnel with her giant face. They try to make a run for it, but her face pops up at the other end too. It's like playing a peekaboo with your not-so-normal granny. Okarun, in a moment of sheer panic, tells Momo, release the curse, I got this. He transforms into his swaggering alter ego, only for Turbo Granny to reveal that, surprise, surprise, she's returned is Vini to him so he can't transform anymore. Turbo Granny's faces start closing in from both sides. Just as she's about to strike, Momo remembers some golden advice from Grandma Dodoria. Challenge to Turbo Granny to a race and she'll take the bait. So, Momo thinking on her feet taunts Turbo Granny. Daring her to a game of tag, she tells Turbo Granny, there's no finish line, if you catch us, you win. Momo also tells her to count to 10 minutes before chasing them, which Turbo Granny accepts. Now, she's got this super weird way of counting. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1 minute, 3 minutes, 5 minutes, you get the drift. Momo's like, is this lady even counting right? Before she knows it, Turbo Granny yells 10 minutes and captures Momo. Okarun argue about her cheating at the 10 minute rule, to which Turbo Granny snaps back. Hey, you didn't say how to count. Okarun desperate does the unimaginable. He grabs her chest with his teeth. Yes, people, he bites her saggy ancient assets. Turbo Granny yells in shock. How dare you suckle my teeth without permission. Okarun's outfit, courtesy of Grandma Dodoria, is giving Turbo Granny a tough time. So she decides to possess him. She tears off his special gear and just as all hope seems lost, Momo steps up her game and grabs Turbo Granny's aura inside Okarun without seeing through her eyes. To make matters worse, out of nowhere, a giant crap spirit, yup, the landlord has finally shown up, starts chasing them. Okarun's freaking out and asks Momo, why are we dealing with a crab? Momo says Grandma Dodoria once told her, dead souls become crabs to cross the river to the afterlife. Okay, thanks for the insight, very helpful in this exact moment. Momo convinces Okarun to transform, even though Turbo Granny is messing with his powers. He speeds off like a maniac and as they go curling down a hill, Momo's too heavy so he loses control. He does a full throttle helicopter leg spin to save their landing, but naturally, he messes up halfway. So they end up plopping down in the street, a miraculous survival I'd say. Now they are dodging the crab through the streets of Shono city and Momo comes up with a genius idea. Lure the crab to a hot spring, her logic, if you boil a crab it tightens up so maybe it'll slow down. And but do you know, it actually works. The crab's all red and boiled and Momo's mouth is watering like it's dinner time. Leaving Okarun horrified, can't blame her, she sees food, not a monster. Just as they're thinking they're home free, Turbo Gane isn't done yet. She summoned a literal zombie army from the local cemetery to block their path. Karun's about to lose it but Momo tells him to go full throttle one last time and with some seriously fast paced manoeuvring, they blast through the crowd. Momo uses her powers to help with the turns and just as they hit the edge of Shauna city, Turbo Granny's hold slips. But the craziness doesn't end here. Turbo Granny fuses with the crab, creating Turbo Crab and yes, she's back with another countdown. 10 minutes, 20 minutes or 1 second, your call. Momo's had enough and decides to grab a passing train. They hop on Turbo Granny's in race and chase them along the track. Up ahead, Grandma Dodoria's waiting at the Kamigo city border, armed with those warding nails. Momo holds Turbo Crab on the train roof and as they cross the border, it goes up in flames, finally breaking the curse. With Turbo Granny finally defeated, the spirits of high school girls are released, scattering from the remains of Turbo Crab. Our heroes head back to the tunnel to pay their respects, taking a moment to pray for those lost souls. Grandma explains that these spirits never became evil by choice. The tunnel was the place where spirits of girls met irrational death. Maybe, Grandma adds, Turbo Granny was consoling those girls who couldn't rest in peace. Hearing this, Momo feels a wave of emotion, eyes welling up as Grandma continues, but the dead shouldn't harm the living. We sometimes have to use force to guide them to the other side and the living, we should never do anything to mock the dead. The episode ends on a light note with a dinner showdown. Momo and Grandma fight over a piece of crap while Okarun, still traumatized, can barely eat. Grandma jokes with Okarun if he's a man enough to eat it, which leads to a chase around the dinner table. Finally, Momo and Okarun part ways, with both awkwardly thinking goodbye on repeat. Then Momo shouts, see you tomorrow, and Okarun perks up, responding with a super enthusiastic okay. The perfect end to a wild day. And that's a wrap. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like button, subscribe, and stick around for the next one.